convicted killer from Houston will now call Central Texas home. Sentenced to 75 years in prison, David Port is getting out decades early, all because of an old law that hasn't been on the books since the 1980s. KXAN's Amanda Brandeis takes us to the halfway house taking him in, despite previous security concerns. The 1984 murder in Houston left a family and a community broken. Now the man responsible for it is free, 40 years early because of an old state law. He'll be staying here at the Austin Transitional Center, the same facility a wanted man walked away from back in October. Deborah Sue Schatz was just 23 years old when she was murdered. He took some precious away from me. After serving less than half of his sentence, David Port walked free today. He'll be staying here, the Austin Transitional Center in Del Valley. Inmates at the facility have questioned security there in the past. We have left before and all I had to do was walk out the door. In October, convicted sex offender Kevin Stosser escaped, walking away. He's now on the U.S. Marshals' top 15 most wanted list. If they haven't caught him, there's something definitely wrong over there. The security is not good. Port will be subjected to intensive parole supervision. His location will be monitored 24 hours a day via GPS, and he'll have a curfew. Reporting in Del Valley, Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. Well, supervisors at the Austin Transitional Center will not comment about this. A victim's rights advocate is fighting to have Port listed as a sex offender. That way, he has to register where he is living. Looking at the other case connected to the Austin Transitional Center, U.S. Marshals still have not found Kevin Patrick Stosser, the convicted sex offender who walked away from there, and now the number of tips is slowing down. Officers say Stosser posed a high risk following his guilty plea on charges of child sexual assault. We reached out to the U.S. Marshal's office today for comment. They said tips came in pretty soon after they put Stosser on the most wanted list. But so far, none have ended up being credible. If you see Stosser, contact police. We posted their information with the story at kxan.com.